Okay, so we're up at the Sun Temple. Yeah, whenever I come up here, there's like a weird, like, humming sort of noise. I think it's the beacon. But the Arch managed to pay the big price to get us some information, apparently. I don't like the fact that this was just dropped. Also, just while I was in the bar, I think, I saw his nameplate come up. Like, a dialogue at the bottom. So I probably should have talked to him, see if what? he had anything to what? input. The fabled prodigy. I, hope I don't have any quests for Jaspar, do I? You can no. live up to what they say about you. I really okay, do. I thought Arch ah, managed to let go. What's wrong? You look troubled. Ashari, <sighs> she's dead. Someone murdered her. I know. Yeah, Sharim has already sense. told me. I hardly knew her, but it's horrible. Different ideologies or not, she was a fine young mage, and her knowledge of the Pyrenees was impressive. We need to find the ones who did this, and fast. But you probably already know that. Thank Malfus, we just had a breakthrough with the beacon. Yes, your shot. Your shan told me about that. Does that mean we know now what's missing? At least as far as the sockets go, yes. In the old tablets you found in old Dothugrad, there's talk of black embers, which are supposed to be some kind of energy supply for the machine. Black embers? Any clue as to what those could be? This is what we've been asking ourselves over the past few weeks, and then it fell like pelt from our eyes. The Pyreans were talking about the black pearls. Old jewels, sometimes known as black stones. They appeared for the first time in the Golden Era, and every self-important noble literally fought to get one in his possession. Apparently, they originated from Stormwind, the old city in the heart of Arctwind. They changed owners for decades, sometimes by violence, sometimes by gold. The whole thing only stopped when the owners took note of an undesirable side effect, if you like. I mean, yes, these stones are somehow cursed. No. At least not with any known magic, and that's what's so strange about it. Nevertheless, all of their owners eventually shared the same fate. Countess Katua from Nerim, for example, whose castle burnt down to its foundations. According to a survivor of this tragedy, she was to blame for that. He claimed that he saw her the night it happened, laughing hysterically and dancing in the dining room and summoning waves of fire all around her. She was not previously known to have any magical talent in her. So the jewels somehow gave her owners, their owners, magical powers. Correct. Plus, all of them eventually showed similar symptoms of delusion, like those possessed by the Red Madness do. A peculiar look, coincidence, if you ask me. Is this supposed to lead? That's one way to put it. What happens once word got out to the public that the stones were cursed? Not quite. They... Those who owned a pearl tried to get rid of it, or lock it up somewhere safe, and eventually they fell into oblivion. Tell him your theory, Archmagister. Uh, yes, of course. <clears throat> we believe that the stones carry energy, pure, uncontrolled magic, and that the High Ones use them for their own purposes. You mean the High Ones use these pearls to deliberately drive people into madness? Correct. The Pearl's magic make their owners powerful, but the High Ones befoul them, so to speak. Like a poisoned potion. I know it sounds odd, but the parallels are too striking to ignore. The red shimmer in the victim's eyes, the slow descent into madness, and ultimately this irrational, destructive act of violence. But all this happened centuries ago, didn't it? I thought the High Ones only appeared before the cleansing. That's what we thought too, but it seems we were wrong. Maybe the High Ones never leave our planes at all, even after the cleansing. Maybe they are even part of this world, just like the tides or the elements. And the death of the gods is only what really sets them rolling, so to speak. I see. And you think the magic of these black stones could give the beacon the energy it needs. That's what we think, yes. 
Nothing else in this world possesses that much raw power. Which is why you will find them for us. Well, thanks. Okay. Which is why you will find them for us. Now, I'm guessing that the uh, sigil stone would protect us against the madness. And how exactly are we supposed to find them? Didn't you say that they were scattered all over Vian? That's right. But we don't need all of them. The beacon has three sockets, and that is how many of the stones we will acquire. Archmagister. I studied the history of the pearls as a young arcanist, and I think that my notes might give you some hints as to where you should start looking. Give me until tomorrow. Oh, of By course. Then I will prepare the relevant excerpts. All right. Anything else I should do now? Just come to me I whenever you have questions. And hurry. I take it you have already noticed this, but Nerimi's troops are roaming our land and building outposts, and the Red Madness is also getting worse as we speak. Now go, Prophet. The sooner we find these stones, the better. I don't know. The guy got away a day for the guy to. Put me out some documents. Prophet. Apparently, we owe you for the shards of this sigil stone. I didn't think I would ever say this, but thank you. The shari, she's dead. I have been told it is a great loss for our cause. You were the one who found her, weren't you? Why was she in the tavern, and how did you know where to find her? She said she had a suspicion as to who hired the mercenaries at Alt Freshagrad. One day, Naya. He was from Endral from Ark. To be more precise. And she did not say anything else? Make any sense. No, she wants to meet in a safe place. By the time I got into the inn, she was already dead. <sighs> that was foolish. Here in the temple, the murderer would not have had such an easy time. And whatever it was she found out, she took it to the grave with her. Now we are back at the beginning. I will ensure that she gets a proper funeral. Commander Aaron will take care of the investigation. Yes. Yes. A machine that can banish these high ones. Shut up. The mysteries of this world are endless, Hello. aren't they? Well, it looks like I'll go away a day. Let's hope he knows what he's doing. Oh, God damn it. Why a day? Okay, well, I guess that we're going to go sleep in the, uh, in the Grandmaster's bed again, it seems. Sister, what My music yes. still isn't playing. Who are you? Huh, the notorious prodigy. I was told you know an outlander. I miss the music. Where is the music? God damn. I don't know why it's not playing. It's really odd. Let's, uh, let's, just, let's just go find a bed. I mean... Is it not like a keeper's Whatever barracks around here I can sleep in? Oh, hey there. To what they say about you. I really yes. Do. Damn those Nerimese fools. This is madness. <clears throat> we'll talk to her later. Sun Temple, where am I going? I'm going up, 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 over here. Transcribe verse 80, yeah, learn your book. First, whatever. Gotta wait a day. 
for this guy to write out some documents or whatever he's doing. Like how, I like how the whole sentence doesn't fit in. Oh, there we go. Now it does. It's changed the month. First of the departure. Mordas. Monday. Fetch notes about the black stones from Arch Magister Mariel. I will do that right away. So we can continue the main quest and our lives. Okay. And long loading screen. Any second? No, 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 no. There we go. These buildings, they seem a lot bigger on the inside than they do on the outside, I have to say that. Especially this one, this one's like a bloody maze. Books everywhere. The Fabled Prodigy. Yes? I hope you can live up to what they say about you. Did you gather the notes? Ah, yes, here. There they are. I've marked the most relevant parts so you don't have to read the entire book. Just see if they tell you anything that could give you a clue as to where you should start searching. I will be waiting at the beacon. I could have done without them, though. I don't got my light. I still can't believe that really happened. Thy name is my brother Yarrow. Okay, so I need to read his notes. Where are his notes? There, Lexil's notes. Okay, so. Battle of Blackstones, oh Jesus. It is known that the Order of the Pocket Fairy has, was at one point in possession of a stone, however searching for more detailed clues is in vain. Uh, is lost. One of the stones is in the house of Del Verek. That's just Spar's house. Okay, and which was the first one? So the lineage of Del Gay Gaze Gaze? I'm not sure who that is. Okay. And I such a good man. I will honor. Song in the Silence. I don't think the Red Madness cares much about that. Ask Probably not. Either way else, the Black Stone. This just doesn't make any sense. It... Why can't All the dead souls. What do you mean? Let's hope See, just spar in the dancing nomad. And the obvious madness only happened in the last stages of the disease. Angle. But what happens before that? And how? Send your pocket fairy to the city. Someone else is a. Jesus Christ. Why? Scared you've caught it, are you? That is not funny. You know, I've had this feeling. That there's something yes. wrong with Yarrow for quite some time. Okay, I think that's all of it. Okay, so what have we got here? What quests do we have here? Got to talk to him. Talk to Jesper. Sound the Apocryphary in the Undercity about the Blackstones and that. Okay. So that just might work. I'm a little sad that I'm not really getting involved in this war against the enemies. I'm a little bit sad of that. There are no big battles going on. I thought it would be a, like a bigger impact, but it doesn't seem like it is really. But I guess we haven't really done a lot actually since that whole declare of war. Alright, so it seems like uh, they're all here. That's just Spa. Yeah, it seems like they're all in arc. Okay, that's pretty handy. Let's go to... I feel like we should talk to the noble first. I'm guessing he's going to be in the noble district. How are things? You look a little well, tense. Yeah, it's probably because I've got some kind of disease. But don't mind me. 
Oh, the music's back. Oh, I just completely realised it's probably super loud. Okay, I need to turn it down. I need to crack the music. Just... Ah, the music. It's so loud. Please, loading screen. Hurry so I can turn it off. Music. There. Oh, it's so good hearing music again. It's really quiet though. Maybe it's just a song that's quiet. Hello? Are you going to talk to me, sir? I'll speak to your master. It's important. Oh. <laughs> How do you now? Well, at the risk of blowing your mind, my job is to keep folk like you out. Now, what makes you think that you're any different? I could probably beat you in combat. Look, I don't really have the time for this. Let me in or you'll regret it, you fuck. <laughs> well, well, aren't you a cheeky one? You must really think I'm stupid if you expect me to fall for that. This place is swarming with guards, and I sure won't be the one who starts a fight. Come on, bring it. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that I could make it worth your while. Oh, now that sounds promising. Exactly how much do you reckon my while is worth. A hundred pennies. Mm. Alright then. Deal. I think I'm in the mood for a stroll. Just act normal, and the guards inside will think you're expected. And hey, don't get any stupid ideas about swiping anything. Alright? Yeah, fuck off. You bastard. We've got other guard right there, Jesus. Right, let me turn the music down a little bit to get a little bit loud. I'm just here chilling, you know. God damn it, the music stopped again. Why are you doing this to me, game? You're teasing me with music and then you really take it away. I need some type of key. What's in here then? Hello? Nope. Hello? Nope. Nope. Okay, looks like I'm going to go upstairs then. Up, up, upstairs we go. Until you reach the loading screen. Okay, not going in there then. Not in there. How are you doing? Huh? Okay, I feel like I'm in the wrong place. Um... Oh, grand. Yet another proof of the notorious reliability of cell swords. I should have known that simpleton was only good for peeling potatoes at best. God, you've so, got an ugly face, haven't what you? is it that you want? To mug me? I would seriously think that over, considering my esteemed bodyguard over there. He belongs to the petrified, and I'm sure he Never would love to demonstrate just what that means. Never heard of him. Easy, I just want to talk. <laughs> oh, do you now? <laughs> you really are a bold one, aren't you? Uh, but good, go ahead. Tell me what you consider to be so important that you just had to sneak into my house without my invitation. I didn't sneak in. I walked through the front bloody door. I'm working for someone who's looking for the Black Stones, and apparently your family used to own one. Do you know anything about that? What? No, you're mistaken. 
I have no idea what you're talking about. Now get out of here. But my sources are reliable. I don't give a shit about your sources. Now get lost. Preferably to the land you came from. Kashan, show my guest the way out. You wanna go? Oh. Game? Hello? Game? Seems like he wasn't really in the mood to talk. Get in unnoticed, but there was no key. I mean, there is a big bloody door up here, isn't there? Find something to pressure him. I mean, I can sneak through here instead. I think sneaking in might be a bit easier. The music's back as well. Under no circumstances can I get in guard's range or vision or stop sneaking. With a bit of luck, I may get around them to the second floor and into one of the unguarded rooms there. We're doing a sneak mission. Good thing I have not got anything in sneak. Have I got any sneak potions? Have I got any visibility potions? That is what needs to be known to me. I don't think I do. Oh. oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus. Okay, so it just sends me back to the beginning. Okay, I'm fine with that. Back off. God damn it. Alright, go, 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 go. Alright, that's not too bad. Getting to the second floor. Complete. So I need to find something to pressure him with. So some type of secret. Hello? Oh, he's coming back. I'm just gonna hide here. Shh. I hear his footsteps. He stopped. Oh. Hey there. Come on, move. There we go. Okay, time to move. Dun dun. Bedroom. Okay, let's go through his uh, personal belongings. Hmm. Has he got some like golden mead? I'll take that. Has he got some like dust in here or something? Accuse him of being a dust taker. Statue of the light born. Can't interact with it. How is there nothing in his room? There must be something in here. I'll take your books. Is there really nothing in here? Come on. He's obviously uh, evidence of it being a heavy drinker. Why has he got like a spare bed over here? That's a bit odd, isn't it? Maybe not. I don't know. It seems like you've got a bunch of crap in here. Okay, yeah, he's walking towards me. Okay. 
Time to move. Is this door unlocked now then? No, it still requires a key. I don't understand. Wait, what? Yeah, I found a way to get into this day on there. Okay, so this means I have to search for information on my own. I want to make my voice heard. Perhaps I can find something in his estate to pressure him. I need, I need to take care to stay hidden. Empty parchment. House key. Oh, no, that wasn't it. Fuck. God damn, okay, we're going to work at this.